Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's been a long time. I'm sorry because I know I was on a roll there for a while and I got a lot of new subscribers and then I just stopped uploading. So sorry about that. If you're new here, hello. Thank you for being here. Uh, I forgot what my regular intro is. I don't know. Welcome back to my channel if you're not new. <laughs> I don't, it's like I forgot how to do this, but yeah, I've just been like super busy and if you guys didn't know, like this is obviously not what I do full time. I have a job, you know, that takes up a lot of my life, so I usually film on weekends, but I feel like I've had like something planned every weekend, like this whole summer, which is not normal. So yeah, and then I went to Cuba for a week, so that's where I was at that point. But anyway, you probably don't care. This is my deck of panning update. So this is actually my fifth update of this project, but this will be an update for June, July, and August. So this is like three months in one because I didn't have time to film previously. But anyway, it doesn't matter because I actually haven't been wearing makeup, really. Like when I go out on the weekends, and when I say out, I don't mean like out at night partying. <laughs> like I go grocery shopping and like recently, like I said, on my trip and I went to the beach. Uh, I've just been wearing like my eyebrows and mascara mostly. So... As you can imagine, I haven't had a lot of progress <laughs> on my items, but they were pretty close to being to having reached my goal during my last update. So that's why today I actually have one, two, three, four, five items to roll out. So yeah, it's pretty exciting. So I'll just get going because um, it's very hot in here. <laughs> And I'm gonna start sweating anytime soon. So, the first one, I'm sorry to say, my Physician's Formula Organic Wear BB Cream is still not done. I know, this has been in here for a long time. This was rolled in for the category of oldest product because it's the oldest product in my, like, foundation category. Um, so it still kind of looks like it did last time. I am below the window finally. But yeah, my goal is to use this up and there's still some in there. So I can't call this done yet. And I have no idea how much is there because I feel like every time I do this update, I say there's like a few uses left, but then it still <laughs> keeps going. So I don't know, two, three, five more uses. Who knows? So that's gonna stay in. Uh, the next product, I'm actually kind of, it's kind of a declutter. Although I feel like I used it enough, like that I don't feel bad about it. It's the Bosha Treatment Primer. This was rolled in for my out of control category because my primer collection is out of control. And yeah, this is, something I didn't think I would like and that wasn't for me because it's a pore affecting white charcoal mattifying treatment primer and I do not like my skin to be matte. I have dry skin so yeah I just wanted to use this up. I thought I could because it's just like a deluxe sample but as you can see it's probably like there's still this much left but I'm not going to use this anymore. I actually I think since my last update, I had put this in my skincare, like in my bathroom to use as skincare, but it didn't work out because whatever is in this reacts with my other skincare products and it was making like a dry white powder on my face and it was really bad. And I went out of the house like that without knowing and thankfully Josh saw it and was like, what is on your face? It was this. So anyway, this product I don't think exists anymore. And I don't think you can even get Bosha 
at Sephora anymore, if I'm correct. So does anyone even care? No, I'm just going to put this in my empties. Um, also because it's probably expired and I don't want to give it to anybody. So that's that. That's rolling out. Even though my goal was to use it up. Um, the next product... I think I'm going to decide right now if I'm rolling it out or not. Because it's my Tatcha Luminous Dewy Skin Mist. Just like a deluxe size. Uh, so I said at the beginning... My goal was to use this 10 times and then to see how much use was left after the 10 times because it's so small. So I have used this 12 times, but it's still here because I don't use a lot of this when I do use it because it is so dewy and usually with all my other makeup, I'm already dewy before I even put this on. So I'm like wary of it. So I'm wondering if I should roll it out because I have other setting sprays. I think I'm going to do that. Yeah, it can always roll back in or come in my shop, my stash. So I think I'm going to put it back in my collection, but I did get some good use on it. Like I said, it's right here, but it was like up here when I rolled it in. I had only used it like two times before rolling it in this project, I think. So I'm going to put that back, actually. The next product I almost hit my goal on, my Aether Beauty, what is this called? Pure Diamond, I guess I could just look at this instead of my XO. Supernova Crushed Diamond Highlighter in Pure Diamond Dust. I love this. I'm wearing it today. It, had, it gives like a almost wet look, even though it's a powder. Um, I mean, you can't really see much use on it. It was brand new when I rolled it in and I've used it nine times. So I have one more use on this. I'll probably use it even more than that by the next update, but this is staying in and I really like using it. So that's fine. And it goes with like every look cause it's like a, I don't know, what would you call that? Maybe there's like a slight pink undertone to this, but it's pretty like, you know, standard highlighter color. Anyway, my next product I'm rolling out is my Kaja Play Bento Blush Bronzer and Highlighter like Trio. The product I was like um, tracking was the bronzer. So this is what it looks like. I actually have really good use on this and this is, I just used it today. Um, it's a, honestly a little light for me since I actually have kind of a summer tan, at least in my <laughs> experience. Um, so it doesn't really show up that much on tan skin, but I use it today and this product is so emollient that it's like kind of melted. <laughs> And I think that's why like it looks so used because I use this with a stippling brush also. And I did use the highlighter and the blush um, a couple of times, but I didn't track them because I wanted to focus on the bronzer, but they're nice. I feel like the blush is kind of not very, like it's very subtle for me, especially in the summer months. So yeah, but. I'm going to keep this around and um, yeah, I used this 13 times. I only meant to use it 10, so I surpassed my goal. Um, then I have my Drunk Elephant Umber Tint Physical Daily Defense SPF 30, although it's expired. So I'm kind of just using this as like a glowy primer at this point, but I do want to use it up because it's kind of expensive. And I'm almost done, if you can tell. I'm actually even below like where the packaging is like that probably, but there's like air in it so I can't squeeze it out anymore. But anyway, I'm gonna try and keep using this. Yeah, I don't have a, I didn't track it because my goal is to use it up. So yeah, it's staying around. 
And then the next two products I'm rolling out, the lip products. So the first one is the Dominique Lemonade Lip Gloss in Peach Tea. So I used this, I said 14 times, but I wasn't counting times where I actually reapplied this throughout the day, so it's even more than that. And there is like some windowing, if you can see, but I was keeping it lying down in my drawer, so you can't really tell any progress on this, but I did use it more than 14 times, and my goal was just to use it 10 times, so I'm gonna roll this out. And I thought this was one of my favorite lip glosses, but as I've been wearing it more often, I find it does that thing where it like gathers in the rim of your lips, so you can't actually apply too much of this. So what I've been doing, actually with the next product that I'm rolling out, my Tarte Rum Punch, I kind of mix these two together. Because this I feel like if I apply this lipstick in too many layers, it's too like white based so it it makes me look kind of dead <laughs> so i mix them together and i put like just a one layer of this on my bottom lip and this on the top and i just go like that i'm not wearing it today but that's what i've been doing i actually was wearing this earlier but i put another <laughs> product on so anyway i use this 14 times so that's going back in my collection and the lipstick, I'll show you, it's just a little mini, but that's what it's looking like. Honestly, still kind of <laughs> new. There wasn't a lot of product in this to begin with, um, but I used this 11 times, and I think it was probably more than that also, because I didn't count reapplication. And I'm pretty sure like this goes for all of these things. There were a few days I just totally forgot to track them because I didn't even turn on this computer that's in my office. So anyway, but that's gonna go back in my collection. And that's it. I think that was pretty quick, but we are rolling out Actually, I said five at the beginning, but since I decided to roll out the Tatcha, it's actually six. So that leaves me with one, two, that leaves me only with three products. So I'm going to roll in, I'm going to roll in two more and we'll see what happens. Because you guys know, if you're following this series, I always seem to get <laughs> the add another product prompt so we'll see how this goes but i'm gonna get my cards ready i'm gonna shuffle them i swear i'm actually shuffling them but i'm not gonna do it on camera because whatever you won't see it anyway and i'm gonna pull up the game board which i always have linked below oh and i forgot to say at the beginning this project was created by emily from emily and max and it was inspired by books with maddie I always leave all the information in my description box if you don't know where that is because I feel like it keeps changing and people don't even know there's a description box most of the time and I spend a lot of time um, filling it in for you so you have to like go well I guess it depends if you're on desktop <laughs> under the video like under the title it says more you have to click on more and I think on mobile it's like a little arrow i don't know youtube is really weird it's like they don't even want people to look at the description or something but anyway everything is linked below so let me do that and i'll be back i'm back i did pull out one of the jokers because there's two jokers in this deck and we only need to have one and then i have my <laughs> Dragon Ball Z cards as usual in case you're wondering what the heck those are um, Yeah, so let's just go. I said two, right? Okay, so this is the first one King of Diamonds If you can tell Yeah King of Diamonds Okay, so the face cards never change and the King of Diamonds is 
oldest product. Okay, so I already know it's not going to be an oldest foundation because I already have this one. So that should be fun. Oldest product. Okay, good. The next card. Three of hearts. No. <laughs> hearts are red. Three of spades. There, it's finally focusing. Three of spades. So the non-face cards rotate every month. So when I link the game board below, it's only that setup for the month that we're in, if that makes sense. So this month, the three of spades, did I say that before? It's a three of spades. Glowy, okay. Isn't that what I pulled in that I forgot to tell you? Yes, I just realized I forgot to tell you, but Glowy was the prompt that I had pulled this in and now I'm rolling it out, so that's interesting. Yeah, and if you care, because only now I've noticed I forgot to tell you, the Aether Beauty was for the category Highlighter. The Kaja Play Bento was for the category this time last year because I had bought this on the same day that I filmed my last update. So that, well, not my last update, but the, whatever update I had rolled this in. Yeah, that's what that was. And my Drunk Elephant was for SPF. And my Dominique lip gloss was for something a friend is panning so I chose Emily as my friend even though she has no idea who I am but I don't have like real life friends that are panning makeup and I think also Steph from It's Just Steph was panning this at some point that's why I chose this one and the Tarte Rum Punch was for a random color generator because I had got the color almost exact color of the packaging of this lipstick. Anyway, back to this. So I got Oldest Product and Glowy. I feel like we should do one more because I only have five products in this project, which is the minimum, but I don't mind having more than five. So let's just do one more and I hope I didn't just jinx myself. <laughs> Here it goes. Seven of Hearts. There you go. Seven of Hearts nail polish? No. I don't wear nail polish. This is um, SNS or like dip powder, so I have to go to the salon to remove it and reapply, so I never wear nail polish. So I'm not going to do that actually. Okay, one more. <laughs> three of hearts. Yes, this time it is three of hearts. Three of hearts is glittery. Okay, that's fun. Glittery. Okay, that's good I think. So let me find those products and I'll be back to show them to you. Okay, so I have my three products and I'm pretty happy with them. I think it's gonna be good. So for oldest product, I decided I should pull in a lip product. And the oldest lip products in my collection are my Aveda lipsticks. These are ancient. I don't even wanna discuss. <laughs> how old they are, but I do check them regularly just to make sure like they still smell okay and they look okay and yeah. They do look kind of melty. I think it's because it's so hot in this room. It's like the hottest room in the house. So yeah, they look a bit melty, but I think they're still fine because they smell good. So this is the... I don't remember what these were called, but they look like this because they're um, like you can buy a case and refill it, but if you don't buy the case, you just buy it like this. So they, they're not very pretty to look at, but they're a nice formula. This is the shade Goji Berry, and I pulled this in because, well, for one, I have a red 
lip liner in my shop my stash that I am not using because I don't have a red lip product in my shop my stash so this should go nicely with that it's a really nice like blue tone red so I can continue to wear this like throughout however long it takes I'm gonna put a 10 new skull on this but yeah I chose a red because I know like since fall is coming up, this is a color like I'll still want to wear and even in the fall. So yeah, that's my pick for oldest product. Then for uh what did I say? Glowy, right? The three of spades, yes, for glowy. I pulled another primer, so to replace the Bosha one, and because I need to get more primers out of my collection, I'm going with the VDL Lumi Layer Primer, the fresh one. I think the, f the one that says fresh, it's because it's like illuminating, because the bottle is kind of like iridescent, if you can see. So I chose this because it actually expired <laughs> last year, apparently. I don't know why there's an expiry date on a primer because there's no SPF in it as far as I know. Um, I do really like this product so I'm going to try and use this 10 times. I've already used, well I've, I'm still up here, <laughs> but I've used it before and yeah I just want to keep using this until something happens to it because if it has an expiry date I imagine maybe it's because like the formula will change or something. Let's just test it right now. Okay, it's kind of, there was like some goopiness, but that's normal. It still smells like it did. Look, yeah, see, it's very glowy. So it fits this category. And yeah, I think it's gonna go nicely with any base product that I use with it. So I'm going to try and use this 10 times also. As long as nothing funky happens with it. And then for glittery. So this one didn't take me long because I pulled this product into my shop my stash and I haven't touched it. So I'm hoping that it being in this project I'll actually reach for it. So this is the Touch and Soul Metalist Liquid Foil and Glitter Shadow Duo. So I think whenever I use this, I'll use both products at the same time because that's what you're meant to do. You put the like metallic one on and then you tap the glitter on top. And I actually have five of these and they're getting very old and kind of looking dry. So I'm going to try and use this 10 times again and see where I'm at. And I think this is a nice shade to go into fall with also because it's like a coppery, um, well the shade's called Margaret, but yeah, it's like a bronze copper kind of situation. So yeah, I'm hoping I'll reach for it now that it's in this project and hopefully I like it because I have four others. <laughs> so yeah, those are my projects. No. Those were my products. <laughs> 10 use goal on all of those. And then by next update, I'll definitely have this rolled out because I only have one more use to go. Hopefully, I'll have this rolled out, the physician's formula. And maybe we'll see about this. I don't know. I was using it pretty consistently for a while, but then I kind of stopped, so we'll see about that. But yeah, I think this is a good mix of products. I have something in every category, so I can use all of them at once, hopefully. And yeah, so that's it for my update. I'm gonna try and film some other videos, but I'm sweating profusely. So we'll see about that. <laughs> so I hope you liked this video. If you did, give it a like. Subscribe if you haven't already. My next videos are going to be, I think, a, like a multiple part haul because it's out of control as per usual. So subscribe if you want to see that. 
and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!